daughters. You are striving in union with the whole church for renewal, spiritual renewal, authentic renewal, Catholic renewal, renewal in the Holy Spirit. We are pleased to see signs of this renewal. Long life for the Charismatics. Poi, rinnovamento carismatico. Avete ricevuto un grande dono dal Signore. Voi siete nati da una volontà dello Spirito Santo come una corrente di grazia nella Chiesa e per la Chiesa. Questa è la vostra definizione. Una corrente di grazia. Sovereignly drew all the students at that retreat house up into the chapel where we knelt before Jesus, some lifting their hands in prayer for the first time, others flooded with a sense of joy, some laughing for joy, others weeping, some saying they had a great desire to praise God but didn't have the word. Entering the chapel, I was so overcome by the Lord, my life has never been the same since. The presence of the Lord was so strong, uh, I could hardly make it over to where the tabernacle was to kneel down. I can't even begin to describe all the things that began in my life, but let, me, let it suffice to say that at that point, I wanted to do anything God wanted me to do. I wanted to do anything, no matter how daring, and I knew, even in my failings, that the Lord was with me. And I thank Him and praise Him for that. I can't thank Him and praise Him enough. Our God is amazing, and He'll do it for you too. Ever since I came in contact with the renewal in 1972, and experienced a, a quiet baptism in the Holy Spirit, I've noticed great changes both in my priestly life and my priestly ministry. The first part about my priestly life well, uh, I began to experience a tremendous joy in my priesthood. I began to have a great compassion for people. Uh, Jesus became the center of my life. Everything else which for me before was important was second and third place. There was only one thing in my mind that was Jesus. Dorothy and for me, uh, 
the context in which we began to hear about the baptism in the Holy Spirit was the Second Vatican Council. We had separately been involved in the Crucio. Um, we had been involved in all sorts of Bible vigils and prayer meetings. Nine of us were prayed with to be baptized in the Holy Spirit over at Bert and Mary Lou's apartment on LaSalle Street. We knew we hadn't experienced the charismatic gifts, so we got together with some local Pentecostal people a week later at the home of Ray and Mabel Bullard, and they prayed with us. And everyone was having a wonderful time in the Lord and praying in tongues, and the Pentecostal people were all just sort of dumbfounded. They were like, this is astounding. I mean, the Catholics are receiving the Holy Spirit, and they're speaking in tongues, and it's real. I think one of the things the Catholic Charismatic Renewal brings to the whole church is the importance of people receiving a personal uh, conversion in Jesus Christ and then receiving the power of the Holy Spirit that enables them to go out, to live uh, a life of holiness and to live a life of service to the world around. Aspetto da voi che condividiate con tutti nella Chiesa la grazia del Battesimo nello Spirito Santo.